humanity has always been on the move. And the migration of people across thousands of years has shaped the world that we know today. The East End of Africa is affected by the largest forced migration and displacement. 50% of the displacement was due to climate-related reasons. This will happen more and more as the impacts of climate change become more and more intense. We can no longer talk about climate change without talking about human mobility. We'd like to build different kind of early warning systems to ensure that different people in different communities are getting the right kind of support and their local communities are resilient enough to provide long-term sustainable homeland for those people. We speak of three solutions. Solutions for people to stay in the context of climate change. Solutions for people on the move. Solutions for people to move. And this is exactly what the hackathon has been here to do. What we are trying to do today is to make use of data analytics to ensure that the people moving across the world are doing it for voluntary reasons and not being forced out of their homelands. We've seen how data can be used to strengthen our predictive capacity, see which areas are affected, who are the most affected people. So this is very important for our responses. Technology in all its forms, including artificial intelligence and data, exists to be able to help us get a lot of jobs done faster and more accurately, and to be able to scale them. Things like generative AI will really unlock human potential. I like to use those technologies in areas where we can genuinely help humanity and improve the human condition. Data collaboration, it's an absolute necessity to build a long-term solution. And what we have demonstrated in this hackathon is that by bringing together data from IOM, United Nations, public sector organizations, and the private sector organizations, we are able to build insights and solutions for those communities in need and provide them some resilience so that they are not forced out of their homes. The call to action is for the private sector to get engaged as a partner in solving one of humanity's most important challenges of today. We can no longer talk about climate change without talking about human mobility. That is the call to action. We hope all the people attending COP will come behind this tagline and support governments in how they manage migration in the context of climate change. There are times where we can work under the ethos of done is better than perfect. Sometimes we don't have enough time to get to perfect and we can make significant process with just incremental developments.